believed that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. <laughs> Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. <laughs> Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Selina? Well, good to know Miss Kyle's keeping in touch Still from crazy. wherever she is now. In other news, if you've noticed the streets of Gotham have been a lot quieter recently, you're not alone. The GCPD has reported a sudden and steep drop in violent crime in the past few days, with the number of 911 calls falling off a whopping 60%. <laughs> Many are attributing it to the decrease in the visibility of the terrorist group Children of Arkham, whose members seem to be taking some time off. I don't know if I should have did that, but... Or maybe it's just our new Mayor Dent making good on his campaign promise to bring down crime in the city. Either way, the citizens are breathing oh, a no. sigh of relief. That's okay. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> talk, talk. talk to you later. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Mm -hmm. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, <laughs> Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. That isn't how I wanted things to go down either, Harvey. And I'm really sorry they did, but that is no excuse for this... ridiculous crusade against me. <laughs> I don't need an excuse. You're a criminal, and I'm coming for you. <sighs> and that drug's really fucking Bruce. with him. Bruce! We're done talking. His hand looks weird. Mm. What's going on here? I got a shotgun. Your name is Bruce Wayne. I killed. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Hmm. That's great. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! Oh, no. Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days. I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over and then back up again. That's not what I said! Sure I did the job! Bruce. Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! 
Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me. Yeah, I filmed the whole thing. Of course you did. They should lock you up. Oh, God. I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. No, we're we run to back. Out, out of that area. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, hmm. or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the Run him over! Hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, hey okay. he's the problem, not us! Here. It's everything I have. Okay. Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. I did what I had to do without getting crazy. I mean, I tried not to get crazy earlier, and he just went fucking nuts. So, what you gonna do? You need to detox, bro. Huh? Just get us home, Al. Fast. Man, this, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Alfred. fine, okay? Yeah. Alfred's noticed. I just that. need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. Harvey has turned Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. Cuckoo. I can't just ignore it. Cuckoo. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Okay. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vale's drug. Yes, of course. Yes. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. I gotta get me a gaming chair like that. Push a button, it comes up. Okay, so let's... Do the normal shit first. Then security raises, blah blah blah. Wayne Arkham, blah blah blah. Mayor claims credit for. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. That's good. All this information. <laughs> Go through this. <laughs> John Doe. Right. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Okay. Do you want me to look at the things? So much what we do? No. Okay, now. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. Mm. We can cure uh. others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person. There we go. That wasn't that far hard. That should do it. Alright. I'm gonna stick myself. With the batidote. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Oh, do I gotta do this? 
Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. I feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky... Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. Of course. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I knew she was weird. I never trusted her. There was always something off. Your instincts are very rarely wrong, sir. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. To her parents. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave <laughs> me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, no. trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Oh, here we go. Got it. Oh, that was easy. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Don't let her drop you again. Gotham Heights. Vale residence. I'm oh, Batman. I don't need to knock. Hello? Is anyone home? <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside the Vale House. Oh, am I still wearing the suit that got damaged? Oh, well, um... Well then! She did! Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Fucking eyeballs are all fucked up. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. So let's uh, link that with her. No, I guess we can't. Search the body. Oh, wow. There's, there's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Let's look at her face. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yeah. Let's try looking at it. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Mm. She had something to do with it. Confirm she's the murder of the world's greatest detective. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. Hmm. There's a logo on the building. What else? It 
it's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? I guess we'll find that out, won't we? Hair? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. But yeah. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Good to know. The fight started in the kitchen. Anything else in here? Oh, looks like she was eating dinner. large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. That stick looks good. dinner. Oh, maybe not. Let's open the pantry. I bet you that's where we're gonna find the other body. Alfred found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Oh, well, that just makes sense. Okay, hold on. Belt. Do 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 do. We'll go over here. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. She beat him with the belt. And you... Come to me. Man, I am the world's greatest detective. Go here. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. What exactly happened in that house? Death. I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vell fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents. But only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. Mm -hmm. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. Okay. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Call the cops. <laughs> Clear. Nothing here. Okay. Anything? No. 
Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be upstairs. Or under the stairs. There's someone here under the stairs, alive. The people under the stairs. Oh, they had a secret door. It goes to their bad cave. <laughs> What's up, little guy? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. He's me. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. The Batman! Where's the Joker? Hey, it's gonna be okay. Gonna be alright. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah, just keep telling him. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. What the fuck did they do to that? Get down! <gasps> Oh shit. Well, hello, Batman. What oh, a shit. pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? Am I close? Pathetic. I've got these little bat traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Gah! Of course I miss. Damn it, bad man. The hell? Haha, yeah. -ha, good job, Kit. No. Oh, well, shit. That worked. Nice work, kid. Good job, boy. <gasps> I'm expecting. Oh no. They're dead. I'm expecting. I'm so sorry I'm that I couldn't save stuff. your parents. You don't know how sorry. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. I am vengeance. You want their shoes? You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. Mm -hmm. And I will always owe you one. I hope that makes you feel better. Batman. Oh my god. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. Take him somewhere. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, well, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, 
but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Veil Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. Or maybe that's what a about trap. You? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Batman! Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Hmm. <laughs> Dick, move. <laughs> 